Good morning. I am pretty excited. Today is what should be the last day of corn harvest. And bad weather's coming after today, so it's uh, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be a good feeling. And I uh, don't really think, I shouldn't talk too soon, but I don't even think we're gonna have to go that late tonight. Just found out the field we pulled in, our last farm, of course testing around 19%. We don't have to dry it at all, we can take it straight in, we'll get grade two without drying it. So that is nice. That's gonna save us a lot of work and a lot of money. So just took a load in to the elevator, heading back. There's another full wagon in the field. Taking it in. As soon as the frost is off the corn, we can start combining. We only got 20 acres to do. And we're done for the year. So, yeah, it's pretty exciting. Okay, so I talked to you soon. We had a breakdown. What do you expect? Last day of harvest. Something probably is going to happen. Anyway, it is what it is. So, this pulley here. It's supposed to be up in, oh, where are we here? Right up in here. So that's what I'm going to work on now. And I got, I think I got everything I need to fix it. An hour later. Let's hope it lasts. Hold together, please. 20 more acres. So much for thinking we're gonna get done early. But we're going. And not too much more to finish. It's not like it's late, but it's not early. Good morning. It's the next morning. I didn't quite get it all finished last night. Dad and I just agreed he'd finish filling the wagons. I take the last load in this morning. Raining a little bit, gotta get these loads in. Um, yeah, not much more to say. We are done with corn harvest and harvest in general. Now it's just uh, tillage. Good morning. It is a nice morning out. It's uh, cold, freezing. You can see the snow on the truck a little. I've just got to grab my wallet here. I'm going to the farm store. Gotta grab some stuff. Um, Anti-free uh, windshield washer fluid I think I'm gonna use to um, winterize a sprayer. Still got Roundup in so I think it'll be fine. But I gotta get it winterized. Um, gonna grab myself some tools to clean out the dryer. That's what I'm gonna be working on today. Okay, we're at the local farm, farm uh, service store here. Gotta grab some parts, hoping to get some windshield washer fluid. Seems to be the cheapest thing to put through the sprayer. And some hoses and such. Let's see what we find. It's hoping to find like a hoe, a garden hoe. But they don't really have what I'm looking for for cleaning the dryer out. So, got some clamps, fitting. Sprayer, but can't find the hole. I guess I'll just have to use a shovel. Okay, so what happens here? This is our dryer. Um, when you start combining corn and it's as wet as it was this year, drying, you get a lot of. I don't know how much there is stuck to the bottom here. I got to clean out. Um, I've got to clean out for obvious reasons. You can't leave it there. It just rusts everything out. So, gotta open this up. From there, I'll let you uh, watch me struggle. It's frozen a little bit, probably.
caught now. Oh boy. Isn't that a mess? I'll show you a little bit what we're dealing with here, so. Sec. Okay. So, if you look in here, yeah, see that? I'll just uh, get you right up inside here. Okay, if you look up in here, there's all this stuff gotta come out. kind of frozen so I think it's a good time to clean all right I'm in the dryer this is how the dryer looks inside for those of you who are wondering mesh on top the this side this in here is hollow and there's the burner there blows hot air in and and then it just uh, circulates around the outside so in between there's there's a wall on the inside and outside, and the corn goes in between both and just circulates around. Anyway, I changed the plans here. I started uh, cleaning this out. I'm supposed to go hook on the disc for Dad. Or I think he might start disking. He's not sure how he's going to feel. He was just at the dentist, had a big uh, bit of a surgery done. Um, so he's not sure how he's going to feel. But we want to. We don't have that much to finish disc, so we want to get that finished today. If he can't do it, I'm going to work on it. So I'm going to go get that hooked up once and see this dryer situation if I can get it cleaned out today or not I hope I can it's a great day it's a little froze so it just kind of cakes off and um, comes off quite nicely actually but cold storage gotta get that tractor out of the back hook on the disc okay let's get it fired up Ugh. this is our uh, little run around tractor How are we supposed to get in here? How? Uh, a little bit of climbing, I guess. Doesn't hurt anybody. Oh. Let the glow plugs go. Get this out of here and then so we can back the other tractor in i don't know how other farms out there are but i know on our farm plans can change drastically throughout the day you wake up gonna do one thing and then it just changes it's uh it all depends on the weather and stuff boston weather's good for a certain thing and you want to get it done and things just change throughout the day i, I think that's normal I think this is the piece we want. I think it is. So this is a two point implement. It uh, hooks onto the two point hitch. The only downside of that is, like I like it, but when it's this cold out, which is minus four by the way, so not a warm day, but beautiful day. I, I love days like this. Anyway, the hydraulic oil is very cold and the arms don't go down. So, might have to get out. Okay, see if we push it. They're going down slowly. Maybe I'll just stand on it. Ah. Ah. So we got the arms down. Ah. See if we can line this up.
wheel blocks. Now why do you use wheel blocks, you might say? We don't want it rolling down there. That's why. That's why. Ooh. Yet another example how things change. Um, it's a little too muddy to just now. Honestly, I should have been at it early this morning. Um, but it's too muddy now, so I'm gonna go later tonight, and I am gonna keep working on cleaning the dryer now. Um, so basically, the reason I'm not sure about cleaning the dryer out is someone that potentially wants to dry us to dry some corn for yet, but. They're not sure. Um, it's, it's hard to know. It's hard to know if we're going to actually be having to or not. But if I clean it out, then it's cleaned out. And if we dry it, then maybe if the corn's dry enough, it might not even make a mess again. So, or might not cake on the bottom. So, I think I'm going to work on cleaning it out for the next half an hour here before lunch. And then go from there. I've been working on this for half hour now and I actually got fairly far I'm not quite finished but lunch is in like five minutes I'm just gonna get the bottom down here done and then uh, and it's lunch time So that's what we got out so far. Um, I know, a lot of waste. But if you look at it through everything I dried, it's relatively not too bad. I've, I learned my lesson from, uh, I used to, back when we started, try to clean it out in between every load and sweep it down. It just didn't work. I was like, you know what, if it's gonna stick there, it's gonna stick there, we'll clean it out at the end of the year. First of all, I don't have time for this, second of all, um, it almost felt like I was wasting more, so. Um, last year, the corn was dry enough that nothing stuck to the bottom. Yes, 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 I know. I know what you're thinking. You haven't cleaned that up all the way. You would be right. Should I? Yes, but you haven't heard my whole plan. Calm down, you haven't heard my whole plan. We're, I think we're gonna be moving this dryer. Um, when we put it here, we didn't have all the stuff going on here. We didn't have the bay in by the silo there. We don't have enough room to back out hardly. We're gonna be moving and we don't have enough room to get around here and stuff. When we put this here is before we had the big gravel yard up there. Gonna put it somewhere up there. I'm not sure if we're gonna cement the spot or not, but <sighs> in the next few days here, I'm hoping just to get this out of the way for now and tow it up there. It's got wheels and stuff. Um, tow it up there and get out of the way for now. And then and then guess what? Work smarter, not harder, right? Just come here with the skid steer and scoop it up, right? I'm not. This, this kind of physical work, it's, you know what? I'm not used to it. It's I was enough shoveling for one day. Anyway, <laughs> so.
So now we are off to wrap for a guy. I got about 150 bales of corn stalks I got to wrap for him. It's a cold day for wrapping. Minus one. I don't know if I've ever wrapped in this cold weather before. What do you do though? Inner done. Got a few bales left. <laughs> 